The Spanish first settled in Pensacola in 1559. Since then, the area has changed hands between the British and Spanish right up through the American Civil War. Today, this beachside community is known as much for its extensive place in American history as it is for its ocean-themed sightseeing opportunities and delicious southern-style cuisine. So stick around to find out about the best things to do in Pensacola. Gulf Islands National Seashore Looking to spend some time away from the crowds? The Gulf Islands National Seashore is your place. This remote beach locale runs 160 miles from the Florida Panhandle into Alabama and Mississippi. It's full of seabirds, soft white sand, and azure ocean water. There are hiking trails, camping spots, ancient ruins, and even places to rent a kayak. Some beautiful nature reserves are worth checking out nearby, including Perdido Key State Park. National Naval Aviation Museum if you're into vintage flying machines, you'll want to pay a visit to the National Naval Aviation Museum. This venerable institution is home to over 150 combat planes, carefully restored to their original condition. You can gaze at the first plane to land at the South Pole or examine an aircraft that flew in WW2's Battle of Midway. Alongside the aircraft themselves, there are the stories of the pilots that flew them, repaired them, and designed and built them. Learn about the professions and people that supported the aviation industry and the daring pilots who flew these incredible machines. Fort Pickens Fort Pickens was finished in 1834, and even though it's the largest fort in the area, it never saw active battle. And it's a good thing since it means today visitors can explore its ramparts, tunnels, and original cannons in their untarnished glory. After you've visited the fort, you can head out for a spot of fishing, eat a picnic lunch in the park, or plan to camp overnight nearby. Before we tell you more about the best of Pensacola, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. Pensacola Beach Boardwalk One of Pensacola's most popular tourist spots is the Pensacola Beach Boardwalk. It's packed with restaurants and cafes, souvenir and clothing boutiques, beach-themed bars, and more. Stop at the Shell Amphitheater to hear live music by local musicians and bands. There's a great view of the city skyline from the boardwalk, and it's also the place to board a Pensacola Bay cruises boat. Get to the boardwalk on the free shuttle bus. Historic Pensacola Village, Seville Historic District If you're looking for a little education while on vacation, schedule a trip to Historic Pensacola Village. This picturesque historical area features restored architecture, numerous museums, and an old street themed on 1890s Pensacola. We recommend visiting the T.T. Wentworth Jr. Museum to learn and the Children's Museum if you're traveling with kids. There's also a National Register listed church, Old Christ Church, dating from 1832 that showcases the rare Norman Gothic building style. Navarre Beach Sea Turtle Conservation Center Seeing sea turtles in the wild is an incredible experience, but it's not always possible. The Navarre Beach Sea Turtle Conservation Center offers visitors a way to safely and responsibly observe these majestic creatures while supporting their preservation. An entry fee of just $5 will get you the chance to see turtles on the mend in the center's rehabilitation pool and access to numerous exhibitions educating visitors on the sea turtle's life cycle. James P. Morgan Park and Botanical Gardens there are few places better than a tropical beach garden, and the James P. Morgan Park and Botanical Garden is precisely that. This beachside garden boasts enormous southern live oaks and century plants scattered amongst carefully tended garden beds and shady pergolas. People head here to sunbathe, read, picnic, or play music. Or you can simply sit and observe the Florida flora and fauna. If you want to turn the trip into an educational experience, stop to read the many informational signs dotted around the park. Sanger Theater Looking for something to do in Pensacola after the sun goes down? Head to the theater, the Sanger Theater. After its construction in 1925, this beautiful building was neglected for 50 years until finally being restored recently. Now it hosts everything from dramas to musicals to comedies replete with world-famous performers. It's not known as the Grand Dam of Palafox Street for nothing. Palafox Street Speaking of Palafox Street, head here to sit in a cafe sipping your latte and reading a good book. Dine on incredible Floridian fare, or browse the boutiques for the latest beachside fashion. The street comes alive at night with the aforementioned Sanger Theater and numerous bars, reputedly with a New Orleans vibe. Head to the street on Saturdays for the Palafox Market, where you can shop for antiques, baked goods, locally grown produce, and arts and crafts. Pensacola Museum of Art did you know the Pensacola Museum of Art was once a jail? Rooms once filled with steel bars and uniformed jail guards are today adorned with paintings and sculptures by renowned artists like Picasso, Dali, and Warhol. 
There's also a world-class collection of African art and a room dedicated to American and overseas glass art. The building itself was completed in 1906 in the Spanish Revival style and, aside from a jail, was also once a city courthouse and police department. Waterfront Dining if there's one thing you need to do in Pensacola, it's dining on seafood overlooking the ocean. Head to Casino Beach for casual and upscale places like Crabs on the Beach and the Casino Beach Bar and Grill. Visit the stunning Navarre Beach for top spots like Dewey Destins and Windjammers at the Pier. Aside from seafood, Pensacola is famed for pizzas, southern-style barbecue, and farm-to-table fine dining. Pensacola Lighthouse and Maritime Museum if you're looking for a bit of a vacation workout, hike the stairs to the top of the Pensacola Lighthouse and Maritime Museum. You'll be rewarded with unrivaled ocean views for your effort. After you've spent time in the lighthouse, head to the nearby Maritime Museum, which features exhibitions on lighthouse history and explores the many facets of the U.S. Coast Guard. The lighthouse is reportedly haunted, and there's a nighttime ghost tour you can join if you're brave enough. Pensacola Minor League Games Did you know the Blue Wahoos, Pensacola's minor league baseball team, are named after a local tropical fish? If you're in town April through September and are a baseball fan, be sure to catch a minor league baseball game at Blue Wahoos Stadium, also the home of the Cincinnati Reds since 2012. It's regularly touted as one of the best minor league experiences in the country. Expect sing-alongs, traditional stadium food, and prizes. And baseball isn't the only game worth sitting in on. You can catch Pensacola Ice Flyers competing in the Southern Professional Hockey League between October and March. Admiral Mason Park, Veterans Memorial Park If you're looking for a place to tune out from the world, head to the Veterans Memorial Park. This gorgeous landscaped park stretches out over almost six acres and features a vintage clock tower, comfortable park benches, well-kept walking trails, and military sculptures. It's widely regarded by visitors and locals alike as one of the best spots in Pensacola to watch the sunset over Pensacola Bay, so time your visit accordingly. Fort Barrancas the building of Fort Barrancas wrapped up in 1844 to protect the Pensacola Naval Base. It's located in what is possibly one of the most stunning locations for any American fort still in existence today. Head to the area to wander the many hiking trails, underground tunnels, storage bunkers, gun turrets, and sleeping quarters, all once inhabited by soldiers stationed at the fort throughout the 1800s. Pensacola Fishing Pensacola has a long history of fishing. The industry once sustained the lives and families of the many commercial fisher people in the area. Today, you can still fish for the red snapper the coastal town became famous for, and an array of other fish, from mahi-mahi to flounder to marlin and mackerel. You can always drop a line in the water from a jetty or the coast, but the best way is to charter a fishing boat. Naval Live Oaks Nature Preserve if you're looking to get away into nature on your Pensacola vacation, head to the Naval Live Oaks Nature Preserve. This pretty park boasts over seven miles of hiking and biking trails and has places to picnic, pitch a tent, or birdwatch. In fact, it's one of America's oldest federally protected forests. Get there early to set up camp for the day in the Shady Pavilion. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites in Pensacola? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.